My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. We shall be looking at the characteristics of organic compounds. Organic chemistry studies organic compounds. The compounds of carbon except the carbides, oxide, sulfides, and the carbonate of carbon. So, this compound, what is their general characteristics? The first is that organic compounds are mostly covalent. Under chemical bonding, we looked at electrovalent bond, covalent bond, van der Waals forces, and under covalent bond, we looked at ordinary covalent bond and coordinate covalent bond, dative bonding. Covalent bonding has to do with sharing of electrons. In ordinary covalent bonding, the electrons shared are donated equally by the sharing parties. But for dative bonding or coordinate covalent bonding, one of the species or one of the elements involved in the bonding donates most of the electron. It causes the second one, just come and enter. I'm the one donating most or all, all of the electrons. There is no equal sharing. So, most organic compounds are covalent. Therefore, they have to do with sharing of electrons. The second characteristic of organic compounds is that they are mostly non-polar. The reason they are mostly non-polar is because of the covalent bond. Now, polarity is when there is a net charge in compound. A compound begins to have a particular positive charge or negative charge due to unequal sharing of the, uh, of the electron pair or due to distortion in the charges. But mostly, these guys are non-polar. Now, these characteristics here, they are general characteristics. There are certain compounds that are exception, which we shall also look at as time strews by. Organic compounds are generally insoluble in water. They do not dissolve in water. Obviously, since they are soluble in non-polar solvents, they will definitely be insoluble in polar solvents. Water is polar, so organic compounds are not soluble in water. Organic compounds generally have low melting and boiling point. This is a general characteristic. But compounds like alkanons, they have high boiling point, despite the fact that they are organic compounds. This is as a result of hydrogen bonding. Any organic compound that have hydrogen bond, OH, will have a high boiling point. So, organic compounds generally have low boiling and melting point, except of the ones with hydrogen bonding. Example, ethanol. Organic compounds generally have slow reaction and they are thermally instable. They are flammable. They burn. And when they burn, you get carbon dioxide and you definitely get water. And the reason for slow reaction and low melting and boiling point generally is as a result of the fact that they are covalently bonded. Organic compounds are grouped into families. We have different family of organic compounds and each family have their own unique characteristics. The families of organic compounds is referred to as the homologous series. So homologous series refer to family of organic compounds. One of the homologous series or one of the family of organic compounds is arcanes. Arcanes. And these arcanes, they have their own members. The beauty of homologous series is that the members of a particular homologous series, they will follow a particular structural pattern as they increase. And each member will differ from the previous by CH2. Which means the difference between successive members is one carbon and two hydrogen. That is homologous series. Also, organic compounds, hybridization exists in organic compounds. 
missing of orbiters. You will see Archaeans being sp3 hybridized, Archaeans sp2, Archaeans sp. That soon, Benzin sp2. We shall see that soon as well. Organic compounds, poly polymerization takes place where you see smaller compounds called monomers combined to form larger ones which are polymers. And organic compounds, they have special naming system. When you see compounds, there are special ways of naming them. This is referred to as IUPAC nomenclature. Organic compounds, they have standard naming system. International Union of Pure and applied chemistry. So, naming of compounds is part of organic chemistry. And I shall teach you how to name compounds and teach you very, very well. See, if before now you are scared of organic chemistry or you have problems with organic chemistry, worry no more. Just be open minded and learn. Organic chemistry will become your party. Thanks for watching. You are one and only teacher from the future. I hope you found this class interesting. Feel free to check out the playlist for more amazing, amazing videos. And don't fail to install the Flash Learners application right now for notes, videos, and questions to meet all your needs. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my sweet videos. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to tell everyone around about the Flash Learners. Bye.